Namaste to you all. Uh, before I get started here, I'd like to say it takes a clever man to become cynical. However, it takes a wise man not to. Uh, maybe some of you might know what I'm referring to there. Maybe some of you might not, but uh, here we go. Okay, so if you watched that last video of my circuit, not the high voltage video I have, but the circuit video I have, you'll see that uh, I have a PMP off the back EMF. Well, now, I, since so many people are doing these uh, battery tap tests, and um, and I kind of tried to do that with the last one, although the circuit wasn't set up for that, just playing around, um, I figured I would follow suit. Now, uh, I appreciate uh, Laser Hacker and John Blade, and there's another fellow that starts with a SH, I can't remember his name, it was also doing some videos that... Uh, Kind of validating some of the coolest circuit stuff and uh or at least vetting it and doing their due diligence to make sure that they're understanding what's going on if it if it truly has some to it or not um so uh this is my take on it and my variation the circuit is nothing like the uh super jewel ringer um i shouldn't say nothing like it, it is a jewel ringer it's an oscillating circuit but it's not the SJR version 2 circuit. Um, I couldn't get that one to work because the uh, transformer I have is not set up that way. Uh, I don't have a, a pot core transformer and I would like to actually from seeing their research and also because I trust them and also from seeing this result from this uh, I know that there's ways to improve the result. Um, so these are not they're not super caps, you know, they got four low crosshairs, these other ones, if, here, if you don't believe me, I'll just put it over the top. I don't, I don't do smoke and mirrors and all that stuff, this is just, you know, just, do. I may make mistakes, but I'm not going to deceive anyone, um, purposely ever, so, uh, but, uh, this is, hopefully I can get a shot of it, 50 volts, at a hundred ultra farad. Focus, focus, focus. Please, focus. There we go. The lighting's not so good and the camera's not picking it up so good. But, uh, so a hundred ultra farads. Here we go, I take this, I tap it. Here we go, I can completely disconnect it. lit up 100 ultra farads efficiency of use of power and it's not the most incredibly powerful light as you can see you know, on my finger um, but I think there's ways to improve it light there I mean here's um, I gotta hook it back up the proper way <laughs> here's that's not even full intensity. I can't get full intensity because it has natural resistance in in the uh, circuit. Um, but uh, this particular run will last for about 15 minutes with only about three minutes of decent light like this, right? Where it's even giving casting a, a light on my finger. I don't know if you can see it. Kind of hard from this angle. Um, or probably two, I'll be safe and say two minutes. And then it dims and stays lit for about 15 minutes of really dim light. But uh, if I take this 1,000 farad uh, at 50, at 10 volts, pardon me, at 10 volts, 10 volts, um, I don't even know what to show it, it doesn't matter. It, it'll last for 35 minutes with about five minutes of decent light. Um, improved transformer is gonna improve the efficiency. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it, except for here is the circuit schematic. I'll explain some of it. Here's uh, where the caps are at. It's like a voltage doubler circuit, right? Germanium diodes. The transistor is like Laser Hacker has an MPS A18. This is a uh, NTE47. I couldn't find any germaniums local. I had to. Or I would have to order them online, and I haven't done that. I'm, 
I looked for some old, if I had some old school transistors with germanium, some Texas Instruments ones and stuff, I couldn't tell and there's not a whole lot of, uh, not a whole lot of data sheet information on a lot of the old transistors I have, so some of them didn't even work, so. Um, but you could potentially do this with a 2N2222 um, and uh, the wrappings, in case anyone's interested, are 24 gauge um, at uh, 40 wraps, 40 turns on the toroid. And it's by far the wrapped on the toroid, and then this is um, 28 uh, gauge at 90 wraps, and then the solenoid, which is air core, it's a nylon thread for a sewing needle, is or for a crochet crochet needle is um, uh, 300 turns. So. That's, that's pretty much it. Uh, they, obviously it's closed here, but I just tapped onto the positive of the nine volt to nine volt battery. And that's that's the circuit right there. You notice the solenoid is going negative to negative. And uh, that's just my little variation on um, an oscillating, a self oscillating circuit with a, kind of an asymmetrical design. It's like a three phase type of design in a way. Uh, the voltage doubler circuit kind of in a way acts like a voltage regulator and potentially if you get the if you get the uh, caps right in the the, the uh, coulombs to to current or coulombs to voltage you can treat it as a, a DC to DC converter too but you know there's a lot of other little things that are crucial for that and depending on what, how much amp, amperage you want or joules you want to deliver of, of power so that's pretty much it and uh, thank you so much for watching anybody has any questions feel free uh, take care